Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create this textured wall in V-Ray for SketchUp. Let's go. Alright, so to start off, I'm going to create a material. So let's go to our asset editor here. Let's right click on materials and click on generic. And rename this because it's important to be organized and rename your materials as well. So I'm going to call this A wall, call this stucco brown. I'm going to give a brown color, so I'm going to click on the swatch here. I'm going to go here and sort of try to pick a brown or beige earth color. Okay, so I'm going to use this. Now, if you want to make it darker, you can move the slider to the left and make it slightly darker as well. All right, so I'm going to apply this material on the wall. So it's the active material, A wall stucco brown. So let's enter the group and then apply the material using the bucket tool. All right, the simple plain wall, let's run an interactive render. So let's go to our asset editor here. Let's go to settings. And then with these settings, which is the RTX render mode and NVIDIA AI denoiser, I'm going to run an interactive render. Please note if you're using an older laptop or system, and if you do not have an RTX graphic card, stick to CPU and stick to the V-Ray denoiser. All right, so render with V-Ray interactive. Okay, so you can see from this render that our wall doesn't have any sort of texture in it and it's pretty plain, although it looks kind of good as well. But generally in real life, most walls have textures, although it is subtle. And it's a good idea to add those textures in your renders as well. So I'm going to show you step by step on how you can create a textured wall in V-Ray for SketchUp. Now, if you'd like to learn how to create this entire render step by step, check out the complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design. The course would be in the link in the video and you can sign up and learn how to model and render this beautiful looking bedroom render scene. All right, so let's get started and create our textured wall. So let's stop the render. Now for reference, I'm going to add this to the history VFP. So I'm going to switch on denoiser and then add this here. You learn all this and more in our complete SketchUp and V-Ray course. So please do check that out. All right, so let's get started and create our textured wall. So the first step is to add a bumped, seamless bump wall texture to our bump texture slot here. And there's a great website which I use to download wall bump seamless texture maps. So go to Chrome or any browser you're using and go to sketchuptextureclub.com. You'll find a lot of useful textures here. Now for your seamless wall textures, just go to architecture, concrete, bare and clean walls. Also, please note, you may have to sign up and uh, join because you can't really download if you're not registered on this website. And if you are a premium member, you can download the higher version, which I would highly recommend. But in this case, even the uh, smaller versions do work pretty well. So in this case, I'm going to go for clean walls. And then in the bottom, I would find a good texture that I can use. So let's scroll down. You can use any of these textures and experiment. I'm going to go with this concrete bare clean texture. Click on download and then I'm going to download and extract this file to a folder on my computer. So once you've done that, just open SketchUp, V-Ray for SketchUp that is, and then open bump in your material slot here. Click on the texture slot, click on bitmap and then select the material. So click on open and make sure the color space is set as rendering space linear because it would make the image as a bit brighter and ready for the render engine as well. If you use screen space, you can see that you don't really get that pronounced effect. So let's click on rendering space linear, go back. Now with these settings, which is the bump and the diffuse, I'm going to run an attractive render. All right, great. So we sort of added our bump and you can see that the wall becomes darker, but you can't really see the textured effect on the wall. Now let's quickly fix this. So I'm going to stop the interactive. I'm going to add this to the history VFP as well, just to see a before and after. So let's do a before and after from our first render and this. So you can see that makes the wall darker, but you don't really see the texture. So to fix that, what you need to do is you need to go to the materials and go to binding here and change the texture mode from auto to texture helper. So what this would do is that it would replace the color wall here with a texture helper. So that basically indicates what is the size of our texture on the wall. So you can see that our size is pretty small here. So we need to scale up this wall texture. So to do that, the best way is to simply enter the wall, select the face, and then from the V-Ray utilities, we have something called triplanar projection fit. Click on that. You will notice that the texture fits from one edge to the corner. Now, if you want to bring back the seamless tiling, then you can click on world. But in this case, fit should work well. All right. So I've 
expanded the texture to stretch from one end to the corner of the wall. And I'm going to press escape and click on scene one. And now with these settings, let's run an interactive render and see what kind of an effect it has on the scene. All right, great. So now you can see the texture coming up on the wall and it's made the wall sort of darker as well. And now you can see that we have our textured wall in V-Ray for SketchUp. So that's how simple it is to create our textured wall. So let's stop this render and see how it looks. So I'm going to stop the render, add the denoiser, then add this to the history VFB. And let's do a before and after. So this is set as B and this is set as A. Now if you do a before and after, you can see that we've added our textured wall. Now if you want to decrease the bump effect, what you can do is, you can just go to the asset editor, and reduce the bump amount to say 0.2 or 0.3, or let's leave it at 0.25 and see how much of an effect it has on the scene. Let's run an interactive render again. And now you can see we have a very subtle textured wall. So this looks much better than the more pronounced wall which we had in the previous render. By the way, I've added a region render. So if you want to add this, you can just click on region render and then drag a box from this corner to this corner. So that would only render this part and leave the rest of the render as is. All right, great. So this looks good. Let's stop the render. Switch on denoiser and then add this to the history VFB. It's also important to note that these textured walls would be more pronounced in the light areas where, for example, the sunlight area shows the textured walls better than the darker areas of the wall. So if you have a more lit wall, then you would see the textures more pronounced as well. So now let's do it before and after, before our previous render and this. So you can see that this was with 1, which was a little too much. But 0.25 works well. You can also reduce it a bit more and that would work well as well. Right, so that's how you create textured walls in V-Ray for SketchUp. I hope you found this video useful. Now for the full tutorial where I will show you more advanced wall materials, you can check out the complete SketchUp and V-Ray course for interior design in the link in the description. Please do like and subscribe if you found this video useful. I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.